This is the star flower template, which you get two really different shapes in this. So this is a nice ruler. I'm going to start with the star and just show you how that works. This is one of those rulers that has the little uh, gap in there, the little cutaway. So you slide this over. You have to have your hopping foot up. Slide that over the hopping foot so that it's inside the hole. And I've already, just to save time, got my bobbin thread brought up. So we'll just get that going right there. So I'm just situating that star. You've got to remember that on this you're going to lose a quarter of an inch because you're on the inside. So your star is going to be a little bit smaller than what that cutout is. And so just I line up. Up here I know about a quarter of an inch. And we're just going to go around that star shape. And I'm just holding on to a couple of these petals that works really nice to hold on to those. And there's my first star. Now if you want to do a row of stars, you're going to repeat. And I kind of like to repeat first the top half and then the bottom half if I'm doing a row of these. So once I've done the top, I'm just going to slide this over so that the other point of the star is in. And I can just do another one. And I can do a whole border of stars. Or same thing, then this time I would just go around the bottom. And then I can just continue on that. Ooh, there we go. All right, and we'll do one more. This time up to the top, out to the side. It's pretty forgiving. It's, since it's such a small space, a small star, you're pretty accurate in your stitching and your points are sharp. So it looks really nice. I've also used this in a sashing and I just did some echoing. You can do the same thing. You can just echo it's sort of the same shape. And you can see how that looks to just add that into a sash. We do lots of Quilts of Valor quilts, so this is a great template that you can use with those. Okay, now we're to the happy part of this ruler. You can see I've done some flowers down here. You just get started with these and then the fun begins. There's so many things you can add to it. There's just a little bit on the outside. You can add a big splash on the inside. And I did bring in an arc ruler to do the leaves. There's lots of different styles of leaves that you can do. You've got your circle rulers. You can add lots of centers to this. You can just have a lot of fun with this ruler. So this is one I've been waiting for. I've used this in some other quilts and I had to make a template with cardboard. So I'm very excited to have this one. I'm just going to advance the fabric and then we'll demonstrate this ruler. All right, to just stitch the flower part of this template, we're just going to go around the outside. And I, again, like to have my thread pulled up. I like a locking stitch and just everything in position and then bring in my ruler. So I love that I have these petals that I can hold on to. And on those curves, you need to hug them. And just if you can move your fingers around so that you are securing the ruler. And we always have those places where you have to reposition. So I'm just going to lay my hand down there and go around. Anytime I feel that sort of shift a little bit, I'll just reposition. And I do have a little bit of uh, handy grip on this ruler. I like on my curves that I just have a little bit so that I can keep it still. So I just have a little bit. So I've just gone around the outside. You can see on this one that I did an echo and I just did that with adding the echo foot to the frame. Now comes the fun part. If I was doing an edge to edge with this, I would love to just place my flowers where I want them. But there's a lot of different options you can do for the center. There's this one.
where if you go around that center a lot of times, then it makes that center really pop. You can add some different um, There we go, E's and L's, easy enough. And then you can just sneak out of this one and you can go to your next one. Okay, let's just look at some of these different flowers that I've done. Here's just a little uh, like clamshell around the outside, but look at this splash in the center. And I did not center that and leave it. It just kind of comes out of there, a big splash. This one has your different size circle rulers that you can get those round in there and then just come out from the center with some sharp spikes. Where this one has some softer kind of loops in there and maybe some straight ones. And then oh, there's so many varieties of your different kinds of leaves that you can add to it lots of different ideas to add to the outside of your flowers. So I have some quilts that I want to show you, different ways that these have been used. So this one first is a star, and you can see how I just kind of put those inside of there so they look like, um, and I just echoed in there. They go with the theme of the quilt. That's one of those um, veterans quilts, kind of quilts of valor. And the next one, this one is a whole flower. And you can see where um, I had that center and then it makes it pop. You just go around that a whole bunch of times. But if you look down here, you can see the ones that are just a half a flower here and a half a flower there. So if you don't have room on your quilt or in your border or whatever to do the whole flower, I really like how that's just tucked in there. Okay, so this quilt was done before I had the template. This is one of those that I had to use the cardboard template. Now we have this great star flower template to finish our quilts. This is just a ruler that makes you happy. There's just so many fun things to do with it. I think you're really going to like it.